Hi, oh, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. Now, this will be for March 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. These are a little bit slippery. I'm using my new cards today. They are the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine. I'm loving them. Some of the pictures are so cute. But anyway, I love most of his decks that I have. So, all right, Capricorn, what's going on with you? Okay, on the bottom, you have the two of earth in reverse. Someone's juggling too many things or they need to prioritize something. They're not very organized. Um, could be that you feel like there's a lack of balance or they're not prioritizing you or you're not prioritizing them, vice versa, something like that. Um, but you've also got the seven of fire. So I feel like it's like, there's so many challenges, you know, there's competition, you need to persevere, you're feeling defensive, you really need to stand your ground, defend your beliefs, you know, be brave, all those things. Keep having determination. Um, at the same time, I feel like you're also indecisive. And I mean, pretty much, I guess, those two cards, the twos, is all about choices in partnerships. And I just feel like you really, you know, can't make a decision. Okay, let me see what's on the table. The first card you've got is the Eight of Earth. So this is about you, you know, focusing on your career, mastering your craft. Maybe you do some more training um putting in the effort getting some more skill you know attention to detail making steady progress all of those things but it can also be just that you're needing to widen your knowledge so let me just see what else there is i feel like you need to learn from whatever hasn't worked out for you with the page of earth in reverse like learn from failure um make keep making progress though i feel like you're not really doing anything to kind of make progress right now um but focusing on your career but there is going to be a or there might already be a knight of cut of cups a knight of water which is like prince charming it's about a romantic you know love emotional it might come in very dramatic like they're committed romantic um intelligent you know follow your heart though when it comes to this person um i feel like though you've you've been through this place of feeling like a victim you know you went through some sort of loss you felt rejected you know maybe there was a lack of material resources um but you were left out in the cold. Um, yeah, you felt like you were left out in the cold. But you have had, with the Ace of Air, a new start, fresh start. You know, I feel like you've got some truths. I've got, I feel like you, you know, can be successful, will be successful, are successful, whatever this is for you. But, you know, you realize that you have to change your way of thinking. You know what? You're not a victim. And, you you're in control of you so change your life you know what i'm saying okay so tell me more about this situation 
Yeah, look, same card. Like you definitely felt like you were just left in the cold. And you had to really step up and take back your own power. And manifest what it is you do want. Um, I feel like you definitely went from a place of, you know, worry and feeling like you were left out in the cold and you, you know, you recoup, you, you've done that um, time where you sort of took to rest and retreat and meditate, maybe contemplate, recuperate, you know, all those things. Just recover. Give me one sec. Sorry about that. So, yeah, you are taking that time to kind of, like, look at the picture. Just rest and recuperate. Kind of just be by yourself. <clears throat> and... You know, you're disappointed by what went on in the past, but you also, you know, I feel like you're forgiving, you've got hope again, um, you forgave yourself, you know. I just feel like you are, I, I don't even know if you're really trying to think too much about it. Um, you're just more disappointed, really. Now, with the, with the page of earth and you, you know, not learning not, uh, or needing to learn from failure, taking the time to kind of be by yourself, you've also got the night of air. Now, you know, this is like making a lifestyle change. It's having a goal, being driven to succeed, you know, determined, you're strong. You know, you rely on facts and logic. You serve the truth and justice. Could be somebody, you might even work in the legal field. But I just feel like it for most of you, it's more that you're determined and you're motivated and you're a strong individual. So as much as, you know, you're going to have a fresh start, you're left out in the cold, but you are having a fresh start. And, you you know, you're doing it after some time of being by yourself. Yeah, you moved on and left the past behind. You know, you want a happy home. Um, I feel like it did affect your everyday things. But I also feel like, which is probably why it was a lifestyle change, but also I feel like, you know, you needed to make a positive movement forward. And you maybe just had lack of hope because, you know, there wasn't progress progression to start with because you were so in that place of feeling like a victim. But I feel like you're moving through that. So this could have been like in the past or it could be, you know, and this might be you now. Um, but you are moving, moving through that. And as I said, there is going to be someone new coming in. So even if this was the past where you were hurt, feeling like a victim, here you are being determined, being strong, spending some time by, by yourself, I've got hiccups, and then you're going to meet somebody new. Um, and as I said, you have hope again and you're moving on. So you're moving on with somebody new possibly. Um, you've got the Queen of Fire, which is the same as Queen of Wands. You're having courage, you're being confident, you're being independent determined you know people are finding you attractive you're being a bit of a social butterfly um you know taking action you're determined and you're having a fresh start tell me more about this i feel like this is definitely for you i feel like this is more past now future for you guys um, but yeah, as I said, it's going to be different for different people. But that's how I'm reading it. Yeah, you had to let something go. Withdraw. You got some enlightenment. You know, you let something go. And I feel like it could also be a Pisces as well. Um, 
with the moon in reverse but you know i feel like you repress a lot you're confused about maybe what happened but you need to release the fear um could be a libra as well but somebody yeah i feel like you know what happened maybe wasn't fair or that this person could have been dishonest as i said All right, well, that's what I have. Oh, actually, I wanted to do some love cards. I'm doing love cards for everybody. So let me grab a couple of them. Okay, Capricorn. You really do need to love yourself first. And I feel like maybe you didn't see the red flags before um but yeah i feel like there's going to be somebody that you are attracted to and that's after a period of time of you retreating like that's it but you do need to move on from this past person all right that's what i have for you capricorn i hope that resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will catch you with the next read thanks for watching bye